Republic, web development is one of the 10 hottest tech skills in 2019. But you need to be aware of certain skills in order to master in web development. Hi everyone, this is Shantani from Edureka and in today's session we will see how to become a front-end developer. Now before we begin the session, let's have a look at today's agenda. So first we will discuss about who is a front-end developer and then we will see what are the front-end developer job trends and the salary trends. And moving on, we will have a look at the different roles and responsibilities of a front-end developer. And finally, I will give you a roadmap on how to become a front-end developer. And finally, we will have a look at some of the top companies hiring for front-end developers. Now, before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel to stay connected. Now, first of all, who is actually a front-end developer? Now, a front-end developer is actually someone who implements the web designs through programming languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, the front-end developers work with the design and outlook of the website, whereas the back-end developers work on what actually goes behind the scenes like the databases. So if you head to any website, you can see the work of a front-end developer in the navigation, layouts, and also the way a site looks different from your phone. Now, web design is all about the way a website looks, while the front-end development is how this design actually gets implemented on the website. Now, the front-end developer is the person who is responsible for this implementation. So now that you know who is a front-end developer, let's move on and have a look at the different job trends related to front-end development. So here is a list of the number of jobs available in different locations in the US according to indeed.com. So here you can see that you have around 1046 jobs open for a front-end developer in New York, whereas you have around 698 in Seattle and 659 in San Francisco. For Chicago, the number goes down to 532 and in Washington, you have around 478 jobs available as a front-end developer. Now, the recent stats from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics forecasts that by 2026, the number of web development positions will grow by 15% as compared to the numbers from 2016. That's a huge growth. Now, talking about the number of jobs available in India, you can see that there's around 1,600 jobs available for a front-end developer, whereas in Hyderabad, you have around 638 and in Pune, 635. The number goes down to 587 in Chennai and 539 in Mumbai. So these are some of the top locations and cities and the number of jobs available in these particular locations for a front end developer. The number can vary from time to time, but this is an estimate and also these are the top cities where a front end developer is in high demand right now. So these were the number of jobs available, but what about the salary trend? So let's have a look at the salary trend of a front-end developer. Now talking about the salary, the average salary for a front-end developer is around 4,94,000 in India. Whereas talking about the salary range in the USA, a senior front-end developer earns around $100,000 on an average and a junior front-end developer has an average income of $70,000. Now these front end web developers have one of the most bankable skill sets on the job market today. So according to Glassdoor, the national median income for front end developers tops more than $70,000. In markets where the competition for top tech talent is fierce, the median salary can rise above $100,000. If you wish to know more about the front end developer's salary, you can go back and check out our video on the front-end developer salary where I have discussed the various factors on which the salary depends. Now moving on, let's talk about some of the roles and responsibilities that a front-end developer has. So if you're working as a front-end developer in a company, some of the common roles include that you have to manage some complex details about projects, which also require analyzing design requirements, recommending technical solutions to make your project scalable, maintainable and efficient as well. You also need to interpret requirements and create project plans to meet schedule and the quality goals as well. Not just that, you have to work across teams to identify and solve problems. 
Also, you need to debug websites to fix mistakes in the code to make sure that they are error free for network administrators and the end users. Now, apart from all of these, you need to be efficient with tools like a personal computer, popular software such as a word processor, notepad, programming language, editors, and different browser setups to check website errors across platforms. You must have the working knowledge of several programming languages and able to adopt new versions of the software. Also, you must be proficient in using the office applications and have advanced knowledge in databases and networks. Now, these were some of the common roles and responsibilities that you need to fulfill as a front end developer. But how do you fulfill these responsibilities? Now, for that, you need a certain skill set. So let's move on and see how to become a front end developer and what are the different skills that are required to become a front end developer. Now, if you have a look at the current job listings for front end developers, you will see that there is a clear and common pool of skills that the employers are looking for. Now, most of the times people get confused about where to start from and what are the skills they need to master for their preferred job role. So let's have a look at the roadmap that will help you find the path that you need to follow in order to become a front end developer. Now talking about the roadmap, the first step is to get a bachelor's degree. Now you can get a bachelor's degree in computer science and once you have completed your graduation, you can master all the important skills that are required to become a front end developer. Basically, you need to have the skill set where you will have the idea on how to design and how to build a website or how to make it look good. Now it's not just about the visuals. You need a lot of technical skills in order to build a website which is not stagnant. Now there are different technical skills that you need to possess to become a front end developer. Now talking about the first skill, you must be proficient with HTML and CSS. So HTML that is the hypertext markup language is the most basic building block required for developing website. And CSS, that is the cascading style sheets, is the language used for presenting the document you create with HTML. HTML is also used for creating the foundation of your page, whereas CSS is used to create the layout of the page, the colors, fonts, and style. And both of these languages are absolutely essential to become a front end developer. The next skill that you need to master is JavaScript or jQuery. Now, this is an important tool for a front end developer. So if you are trying to implement interactive features in your website such as audio and video games, scrolling abilities, page animation, JavaScript is the tool that you need. Now JavaScript consists of libraries like jQuery and it is a collection of plugins and extensions that make it faster and easier to use the JavaScript on your website. And jQuery takes common tasks that require multiple lines of JS code and compresses them into a format that can be executed with a single line. Now the next thing that you need to be well versed with are the frameworks. So CSS and JavaScript frameworks are collections of CSS or JavaScript files that perform different tasks by providing common functionality instead of starting with an empty text document. So you start with a code file that has lots of JavaScript present already in it. Next up is the responsive design. So we use different gadgets like computers, phones and tablets to look at web pages. These web pages adjust themselves to the device that you are using without any extra effort from your end. Now this is due to the responsive design. So it is an intrinsic part of CSS frameworks like the bootstrap. Now the next one is version control or Git. So version control is the process of tracking and controlling changes to your source code. It is a tool that you can use to track the changes made previously so that you can go back to a previous version of your work and find out what went wrong without tearing the whole thing down. So this just makes your work easier. Now the next important thing that you need to know is testing or debugging. Now a front end developer must possess the skill and ability to test and debug codes. There are different testing methods for web development. Functional testing looks at a particular piece of functionality on your site and ensures it does everything according to the code. Whereas unit testing is another method that tests the smallest bit of code and examines it individually for correct operation. 
Now testing is definitely a big part of the front-end development process and there are frameworks to help you Next up is the browser developer tools now the browser developer tools usually consist of an inspector and a JavaScript console the inspector allows you to see what the runtime HTML on your page looks like what CSS is associated with each element on the page and also allows you to edit your HTML and CSS and see the changes live as they happen next comes the web performance now it is very important to make sure that your website performs smoothly without any glitch web performance defines the amount of time it takes for your site to load and programs like grunt and gulp can be used to automate the image optimization CSS and JavaScript minifying and other web performance cores it basically helps in making your website more efficient then comes the CSS pre-processing now CSS pre-processor is an advanced version of CSS now this is mostly used to enhance the primary class of CSS to create better versions of websites it is not just a language to improve the styling elements but it helps the developers to skip tasks like writing CSS selectors and color strings frequently finally we have the command line now GUI is an important part of web development and coding as well but an all-purpose GUI is going to have its limitations for some specific applications Sometimes you may need to open a terminal on your computer where you can enter typed commands or command lines to get what you need Although the majority of your work is done through a GUI You can add serious credit to your front-end skills if you have a mastery of the command line So these were some of the technical front-end developer skills now along with these you should also be familiar with some non-technical fields that will help you in career growth now talking about the non-technical skills we have a misconception that the developers are only required to create user interfaces effectively But to make efficient products it is also important to communicate with the clients and grasp ideas So you should be well versed with verbal and vocal communication skills Now also to work with a team you need to possess the basic lessons of the team working too and one thing that all developers must have regardless of the job description or official title it's the excellent problem solving skills so from figuring out how to best implement a design to fixing bugs that crop up to figuring out how to make your front end code work with the back end code being implemented development is all about creative problem solving so this was your guide to become a front end developer so first of all you need your bachelor's degree and then you need these top 10 skills to master in front end development and finally you also need certain non-technical skills in order to become a successful front-end developer So now that you know how to become a front-end developer Let's move on and have a look at the top companies hiring for front-end developers Now talking about some of the top MNCs that are hiring for front-end developers the companies include Capgemini, IBM, Accenture, ICS Consultancy Services, Oracle, Neosoft Technologies, Genpact and many more so with this we have come to the end of today's session and I hope you understood the roadmap and the different skills that you need to master if you want to become a front-end developer Now don't forget to let us know about your opinion in the comment section below till then. Thank you and happy learning I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!